here at the Midwest Regional. Checking in with team number 3695 Foxmas Prime. Uh, as we're interviewing, this team is the number one seed here at the Midwest Regional. I'm here with Colton, Kenzie, and Caleb. We're going to learn about the robot on behind the bumpers. So uh, I want to start uh, all the way on the other side here. Uh, Caleb, you're telling me about a really cool uh, hatch placement mechanism you have. So why don't you grab the mic and tell us more about it. Yeah. So one of our features was we worried that disc alignment was going to be difficult, so we designed a mechanism that actually uses plastic wedges, and it's able to displace side to side based on the keys that you see above the discs. And so it does the finite alignment without the help of the drivers or a computer assisting it, and so it's very rapid. It's as fast as you can drive in, and it's been doing pretty good for us so far. And it actually, you see our bot uses twin towers. We're able to flip the manipulator through the center instead of turning the entire robot to run discs. One other thing uh, that I think really stands out here that is really the uh, the tall part of your bot, obviously, is this what you call the mass system. Uh, so I want to see this work a little bit if we can, uh, and then tell us what's going on as it's working. All right, hands clear. We have a two-stage rack and pinion system here, and we use a combination of limit switches and encoders to go to six different specific positions for both cargo one, two, and three on the rocket ship and hatch panels one, two, three on the rocket ship. And this is most our heaviest and our most reliable system based on our robot last year. Awesome stuff to see here. And lastly, let's wrap up. Uh, autonomous, a uh, big thing that you guys are going for this year with the Autonomous Award at Championships. So uh, tell me a little about uh, what are your plans for Autonomous? What have you done so far? Where is it going to go? Uh, so this year we decided to do a semi-autonomous system. So we want the, op or, uh, the drivers to be able to move the robot and teleop. And then once we are within like four or five feet and have sight of the target, be able to just hand it over to Autonomous and have them do docking. So here we have a Javois camera with an LED ring that points at the vision target so we can identify where it is. Uh, this takes the rectangles, feeds that to a Raspberry Pi, that analyzes it from the area, takes the distance and angle, feeds the angle to the Rio, and the Rio tries to maintain that angle as it approaches so that we can get deadlock every time. Well, Fox News Prime, you guys are absolutely kicking butt here at the Midwest Regional. Can't wait to see how it turns out. Good luck to you the rest of the competition season. Can't wait to see how you do here at Midwest.